it's very easy to like forget all the lovely things we plan to do today. Always buy boots there. <laughs> I'm more like for the youngster. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. How have you been? It's been quite a while since we've last spoken because I've had so many standalone videos. I think I had my office makeover and then showing you how I've gotten rid of a lot of my things and I think I had a camping video and then a budget video. So we're back to the vlog. It is Friday and I'm just having a slow morning because Fridays for us we don't have meetings so we decided as a firm that Fridays are no meetings because last year we felt so burnt out with back-to-back -back meetings to the point where we actually never got our work done. <clears throat> so I do have an issue <laughs> to sort out today but yeah today is just gonna be a full-on working day there's a lot of things happening um i think i should update you on just life like from a work perspective yesterday we had a kind of like a planning and strategy session we often have these but it stopped after covid i recall we had one and it was at steenberg vineyard and then we got news as we were sitting there that the first coronavirus was like in south africa so it was at least our last one and and then we all just obviously worked remotely since then and it kind of been a little bit tricky to get everyone in one room because we work remote like i said remotely and so we've got people all over the show um but yesterday i mean majority of us are here in cape town so we had that session yesterday and it was just such a refreshing session because as you know a lot of companies i mean i'm sure you work for companies where there are just issues and it feels like it's just getting swept under the rug and a lot of people have resigned from our company um kind of like back to back and the person that worked along is working alongside me that's been there for about a year and some change has also resigned so it's putting a little bit of pressure on me i don't know how my job is going to change um in terms of responsibilities but we'll definitely eat that out when we get there a lot of people resigned off each other and it was obviously concerning for us because like what the hell's going on and I, what was so refreshing yesterday in the session was the fact that our you know management was vulnerable um they realized that there's these issues and we all were we left very inspired like i felt inspired to the point where i told Courtney this morning that i'm gonna do something and he was like yeah i think it's time you'll go about it in due time and yeah i'm actually just i'm excited for my my work and and where it's going and i mean there are just some niggly things in life that are just not great also Courtney's going through just not a great season in his life work-wise I think all of us go through these tribulations where you get tested whether it is in your work aspect or your relationship or marriage or finances. Courtney's just going through the most. He's really being tested to the point where he kind of wants to give up um, and it's not a nice feeling to have. I've been there before. You know, I'm just trying to give him the best support that I can. Because I'm also kind of, uh, I realize I also have like these negative things about me. And my health seems to be okay. I do see my neurologist next month. So we'll tackle those things when we are there. But today is going to be a full, full day of working, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. I mean, it's work. I, I have to get it done. And then Formula One. For those who are Formula One enthusiasts or love Formula One. It's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. But I've got low cheating when I have practice one, which is not a bad thing. I mean, I've got a UPS. Do hardest work, and then on Sunday, we've got a bunch of things we have to do because I'm planning my sister in law's baby shower. So, kind of have to corral things from all over the show and quotes. And that's just also a very stressful thing that I'm busy with. But yeah, very excited for this vlog. 
and I hope you are too and it's nice to see you again it's nice to chat to you I hope you all are just doing well let me know how your month has been how you've been feeling how just anything But look how these flowers have bloomed. Oh, so I just want to cut the stems off, like cut it a little bit, and then put some fresh water in. Got load shedding and oh, I have some work but I was watching the Formula One practice because I'm so excited for Formula One but it's a long day so far so much going on and ah, just trying to keep my head up and stay positive we officially have a video we have a video for this workshop <laughs> and it's all past five <laughs> Let me just give you context. So we have one of our associates is having a workshop, but the numbers weren't that great then. He wasn't sure gonna go ahead and he was gonna be in this province specifically. But it's so funny because the workshop's on Tuesday and it's Friday. <laughs> and we'll tell it because we're asking us like where is the workshop? And we like, we don't have a venue. <laughs> I can't believe it worked out. It worked out. I signed the contract. They just need to send us the invoice. And then I bumped off the emails to the delegate saying like, here's your venue. Um, I just need specific things. Half past five on a Friday. Guys, sometimes stuff just works out. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy for my associate. I don't know what it is, but I've just been happy for my colleagues. And... That is so rare for me and I think it's got a lot to do with reading a lot of books and also maybe I'm getting older and I can just think back of I like pity and negative opinions about the people I work with like in the past and this year I really hope that I show up as a colleague but like also a friend as well. I mean we're not friends friends but our colleagues you, you spend a lot of your time and day with your colleagues so even though we work remotely and stuff so like i just feel happy for them when they get work and because i work with like marketing and then communications and social media i do a bunch of stuff and my all is gonna change again slightly I, I don't know i mean it's crazy to think i just did this now but i love it i love it for this this associate getting stuff done this year Yeah. but I thought we could do kind of like an autumn bucket, li bucket list and I actually started a summer one if some of you can recall and I got this idea from actually the YouTube I was watching now uh, Alison she is honestly just such a ray of sunshine you need that sometimes you know so I thought we could go through my summer list now that it's autumn and we can do an autumn list together and see if I actually did these things on the list it was so nice to see it on the page and kind of go through them so let's see if we done all of them and if something can maybe move over to this so let's see the first one is watch a show I did I watched the Mark Lottering show and then go to the beach Courtney and I've been doing that when he's off play putt putt yeah we played putt putt at the strawberry farm so we did that do a cool activity 
Mm. Don't you call? I don't you call doing a cool activity. Weekend away, yes, we went to Veldre, go camping, we went there, try something new. I started painting, which I'll maybe show you sometime. I don't know. I'll go for the drive. Mm, did we? I feel like we did. I feel like we did go to a no, we didn't. I'm talking nonsense. I don't think we did. Strawberry picking, yes. Farmer's market, I went to a market. New food, restaurant, yes, I did. Specifically, I tried new food. Watch the sunrise or sunset, yes, we've done that. Swim in a river, I did swim in a river, but I swam in a dam at this campsite. So I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> Trip shopping. Didn't really do that. Drive a bicycle, no puzzles. Yes, we did one, and yes, actually one on the table right now. Collect something. I didn't collect anything specific, so no, and make ice lollies. I didn't do that. So I did most of it except for one. I actually did do a cool activity. I did that segue thing, so that does count. So I didn't do five, I got 18, which is still good for like the three months that we've had. So my battery is quickly flashing, so I'm just gonna change it out and then we can make an auto bucket list like summer uh, not a summer list an autumn list <laughs> and obviously autumn in the western world is halloween and then they get closer to christmas so a lot of people just had that theme and then i was looking on google like what activities there is to do in cape town in autumn there's like virtually no articles or anything on it this was tricky so let me know if you have any suggestions but this is what i have so far it's not a lot and i chose this paper which is kind of cool. So I have watch a movie and when I say watch a movie I mean in the theatre. It could also be that Galilea movie one. I was thinking of that as well. Go for dinner. Bake a loaf. I thought that would be fun. And then I added ride a bike to this one. So I think that would be cool. Take pictures of leaves. Get fun socks. <laughs> so weird but I'll just... Ugh. Socks are so inexpensive. So I don't mind getting fun socks. Try hot chocolate at Honest Chocolate in town. I think it's in town because they were talking about some Mexican spices. I don't know if it's still relevant. I always wanted to go to hot, to Honest Chocolate, so I, I would love to go there anyway. Make my home cozy. Explore the countryside because uh, can you imagine just the leaves turning those ombre brown colors? It will be so cool. My candles. And I think I'm just gonna like maybe order a candle kit because I do have some wax still. I will need the, what do you call it, the wicks? I need that. So I'll see what I can get. And then I have go go karting because Courtney wanted to go, he spoke about going go karting. So it will be fun and it's on theme with the fact that if one is fine, it's done. And I only watched practice one today. Um, I didn't watch practice 2, but I'll watch practice 3 tomorrow, and then I think qualifying is also tomorrow. But either way, I don't have a lot, so if you know of anything else I can do in Cape Town, I also don't want to put pressure on myself because there is a lot just going on. So yeah, here is my autumn list, and I think you guys can also do it. It will be so fun. It doesn't have to cost you any money. It can be things like making soup. I just don't want to make soup. I actually still have soup of my mom. <laughs> of last year in the freezer. You can like make it fun, like maybe art and crafts projects with your kids. I found that this was really fun for me to have this on the fridge and I kind of saw it all the time. I'm gonna make supper and then I will see you guys tomorrow because I am pack it out. So I'm pack it out and you can see that I listen to too much American flavored speaking terminology because who uses pack it out in South Africa? <laughs> What a day. It is a day. It's almost 4 o'clock. And I left this morning with load shedding. And I came back with load shedding. But Courtney is working till 5 I think so. My colleague dropped me but it was so busy at the store. And unfortunately she was like the only salesperson. So I felt so bad because I felt like I was inconveniencing her. Tired. <laughs> but look how nice she did my hair this morning. Oh let me go this way. 
she always nags by doing my hair. We have the same low treading schedule. So she walked in and she was like, oh my god, she has to do a hair yeah. yeah, look how nice is it. And she also tells me my hair is quite damaged at the bottom. But I'll try and go to the hairdresser. Next week. Oh, no, not next week. Next month. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. I really like it. When uh, cardio, like after running, it's also important in mentality. Good morning! I hope you had a good day, wait, whatever time you're watching this, but it's Sunday and you can hear the washing machine in the background. This is like the second load. We woke up, well I woke up, was reading a little bit and then we just tidied the house because you know how you just leave stuff here, there, everywhere. We have a lot of stuff to do today. <laughs> we couldn't actually want to go and go have some breakfast somewhere. Not somewhere fancy or anything, just to like get out because he's been working such a lot and I've also been working such a lot. And then we actually want to go to the Chinatown in in Milneton, um, and see what goodies I can find there for my sister-in-law's bridal, bridal shower, baby shower, and then just go to Canal Walk to do the grocery shopping. We also need to pay Courtney's one account, and I also want to go to PA because I'm gonna buy any paint brushes. <laughs> you see how it just spirals when you get into like a little hobby and then you like buying this set. But anyway, it's raining today, and I think it's gonna rain throughout this week, so definitely. I think autumn is here, but it's so humid. But I'm wearing this long top. I got this from Pink Pay Clothing last year, and then <laughs> my uh, poetry jeans, which I love, and then socks. And I'm actually bothering Courtney's socks because I threw all my long socks away when I was simplifying my life. But I'm gonna wear it with my boots, which I want to show you. I'm not someone that really like boots about things I buy. I think they're so nice and they're classy, they're for an adult because I always buy boots that are more like for a youngster and I mean I'm still a youngster I think. So I'm gonna be 31 this year but they're just classy and I know they're gonna last me for a number of years and that's what I'm trying to do is buy things that I know that's gonna last me for the next five to ten years. Now I bought this at Wood. Um, these were about 600 rand and yeah I'm gonna wear them today. Okay, yeah, all the stuff we bought. So, as you know, I'm doing the baby shower. So, we got balloons, a mommy to be sachet, and then these camera props. I don't know, Courtney bought this for his nephews. We got these, what do you call these? Lights. So, we've got lights over there. So, we put it on when we have load shedding. And it's battery operated, which is cool. So, we just got it again at Chinatown. I don't know, Courtney wanted this bandana for some reason. And then it was our nieces. So, it's actually our cousins. 
child. So we just got her this little basket with like fruits and she's into this type of thing. We got the baby letters. It spells out baby. I'm gonna do a DIY with this. Serviette. This is for the DIY specifically. These things chalk to write on this little board string for the balloons and then this baby topper because my mom's actually making the cake and then i love these sticky notes because i use this when i annotate my book so i thought these pastel colors are so cool and then obviously just some plastic bags because we ran out and then that is all at chinatown and then we got this baby swaddle blankets as part of a gift that we're putting together for my sister-in-law i bought these face gloss because i like the face gloss at woods and then i got this candle little what do you call it candle holders but i got a bigger one and a smaller one and i thought i'll put on my coffee table and then these dinner candles which i got a white one and kind of like a sage green and i thought i would do kind of like a diy i saw a youtuber paint on these and she made like little hearts or flowers and i thought it would be such a cool activity for me to do i got some paint brushes because i'm always buying new paint brushes <laughs> then my little palette got a smaller one and then my favorite pen yes i have a favorite pen it's this one <sighs> i just want to relax a little bit before you watch the race that's starting at five <laughs> So this is how this white one came out. I think it's cool, but I need to get a handle on using the paintbrush. But I really like the white one. The green one on the other hand, I uh, made a boo-boo in terms of the paint. And then I swapped it over with the acrylic paint. I still have other two that I can experiment on, so... This was a fun activity and I kind of like it there. It's a bit too big for this, but it's okay. And the race is done. And I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of work. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am currently doing some of my last bit of work to like set me up for some success for the week ahead. And I also have a load today in five minutes. I'm trying to scramble very quickly and get it fast. But I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe because there's awesome videos coming ahead. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.